It is important for us, no matter what our age is, to always be learning. At the beginning of the school year, Diane always tells us that we're too good not to be better. They encourage us to do professional growth, professional development. I asked and immediately Jennifer Williams was like, of course, go, yes. Trying to get new ideas for things or things that we're passionate about. You know, you go out, you learn something, and when it's valuable, you want to pass that on to other people. I think um, it connects when I can immediately come back from a conference and say, I just tried something at a conference. I want to do it with you. I want to see what you think about it. I was really passionate about learning more about social emotional learning um, and it was really powerful and has impacted my teaching. Usually when I leave a professional development I feel really charged and so Sycamore and the parent body at Sycamore and the teachers at Sycamore embrace knowing that even though we have some of the best teachers at Sycamore, those teachers can still be better. Kindergarten has a space unit at the end of the year. Space has always kind of freaked me out. The idea of space kind of scares me. It just seems so infinite. I wanted to learn more about space and the NASA program in order to be a better teacher. And I came across um, an advertisement for a conference that they had. My eyes lit up and I was like, what is this? And it was the space conference for educators. I knew that I had to go and be a part of it and learn. I was surrounded by other people who were really passionate about science and exploration, and it blew my mind. What were kindergarten's big questions? Just like learning a lot about the planets. I just like it because I, like, I just think it's cool that when people think the world is so big and then they look out into space, our world looks so small and it seems so interesting, like it seems to go on and on forever. I know when I get excited about something, the kids then get excited about something. Um, one of the planets smelled like rotten egg. <laughs> building a capsule that was bringing astronauts, which was a marshmallow by the way, and we had to build something that astronauts could land in, in the ocean. And I actually had kindergarten do this with their fourth grade buddies, and it was so fun. They had to do engineering and building, and we knew that if the marshmallow was wet, then the astronaut was not safe. To see something, to touch it, to experience the place, it just leads to more powerful curriculum development. I was afforded the opportunity by the school to travel down to Montgomery and um, Selma, Alabama, along with Birmingham, as I was doing some revision to um, some civil rights curriculum that I was spinning off to do a standalone uh, elective class that we teach in the middle school. Um, I think that firsthand experience is probably the most powerful tool um, to drive the curriculum. You live in a dorm and it's all just other educators, just other teachers from all over the world. They're really teaching you how to use uh, the Harkness Method in your classroom and that's a discussion-based, student-led discussion-based um, method of, of teaching. And allows you to see like how other people think. Because it's student-led, they have ownership in the text. Um, they've, they've picked out the things that they think are important. Well, you get to um, interpret others' ideas that you may have not have found, um, thought of when you read it. I don't want to let her down because I know that she cares about every single one of us. Every single time I've done it, they not only hit everything on my checklist, but they go beyond. The student-led discussion often yields better and uh, more thoughtful insights. Um, and I end up learning things about the text or, or you know, just different ways to look at it as well. It's really cool. She gives you a straight answer and it almost feels like She's one of us. Um, it's pretty refreshing to come to a place that believes so heavily in continuing our education. I think everything that I do 
ties directly into my curriculum. I am currently taking a class right now. I'm taking the Orton Gillingham, which is training in uh, the backgrounds of multi-sensory approach for reading and spelling. It's an eight week course, two nights a week, three hours, and it meets in person. The more that we learn and we can apply, uh, the better the kids will learn. You know, teaching has changed over the years. We need to stay current with best practices, and that's what professional development allows us to do. Think of all the incredible ways that your kid has been influenced by people that are just genuinely excited about learning. Um, there's nothing that compares to that. Like every teacher, when they get excited about something, when they go to a conference, they find some new hidden gem, like, oh, I'd love to try that. They get a spark that kind of continues to ignite a fire that's already in them. And then students pick up on that spark. I always try to focus on two things that I can immediately bring back and start in the classroom that very next day. So Diane Borgman always tells us, we're too good not to be better. And so I think supporting teachers wanting to go and be better um, is important for our school and for us to continue to be innovative. And I think when parents know that that money goes directly to the teachers and it's set aside for that curriculum development, they see the value in that. The potential for something awesome to happen is too great not to do. Because, like, if they don't have any other stuff to learn, then they can't teach their students stuff so they can learn. And so that's why it's important to keep on learning.